All right, I'm super excited to have our guest on today. Way back in the day, I hosted a skateboarding show, and he came on after I left, but that's a whole nother story. Rob Deerdeck has expanded his brand, and he's going into season, season 11 of his show, Ridiculousness, on MTV. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. So tell it people who don't know what ridiculousness is, what it's all about. Uh, you know, look, it's it's the, the age-old uh, idea of when someone falls unexpectedly, it's funny, and it's it's that on steroids. Now, when you came up with this concept, was it because of all the skateboard videos you and your friends used to make and the stuff you saw? Is that how you kind of got into it? Well, you know, I originally uh, created a little demo reel uh, that I called Slam and used the Onyx song, Slam, da, 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, and had all these different skate slams in it as when I kind of originally had done it. But uh, then I read an article with Vinny DeBona and, and sort of the global syndication business of America's Funniest Home Videos, which then uh, had me thinking like, man, I could just make a cooler... A uh, faster, high-paced version of America's Funniest Home Videos, and that—that's really what led to creating it the way we did. What's it mean for you? Because a lot of skateboarders back in the day started into like clothing lines and all of that, and ha expanded their brand. What's it like for you to expand your brand into like reality TV and all your other entrepreneurial uh, experiences? Uh, you know, I, I think for me it was. Uh, taking different opportunities as they presented themselves, and I think TV was one of them, you know, and, uh, you know, I've, I've dabbled in every single last aspect of business as it relates to extensions outside of skateboarding, from having a, a cartoon on Nickelodeon as skateboarding, having a skateboarding feature film, launching a professional skateboarding league, uh, having multiple clothing lines and, and all different types of hardware businesses, you know, I, I think for me it was just sort of the idea of of where there was opportunity. Uh, just go out and see if you could make something cool in it. All right, I'm taking notes on what you just spoke of. Thank you for that. <laughs> Chanel West Coast and Stilo Brim join you once again, but you've got an eclectic mess, mix of special guests joining you this season. Yeah, we do. We got some great guests, you know, from from the great Kevin Hart. We did an hour-long special with Kevin Hart to uh, one of the great viral voices in Michael Rappaport uh, uh, to a lot of uh, amazing individuals. And you've got Olympians coming on. I mean, I'm reading Adam Rippon, Chloe Kim, Lori Hernandez. Yeah. And I met Jack and Jack. All so the great two. Olympians. Yeah. And I met Jack yep, and Jack. Jack and They're Jack, super cool. Yeah. And then uh, you've got Justina. Yeah, look, they were incredibly funny. Like they were so good and so funny. Like and them as a them as a duo is just like comedy in itself. They're, they're they have an amazing <laughs> episode. Uh, what can people expect for this season? I mean, you've gone through ten. Now you're going to eleven. Are there going to be any tweaks? Uh, look, we rebranded it. Uh, made the stage all blue and white instead of black and white after 10 seasons and <laughs> and tried to eliminate the gross, you know what I mean? Trying uh, to just have the fun slams and eliminate the throw up is, is the goal for season 11. Love it, love it. The evolution of ridiculousness, ridiculousness will be on MTV. Make sure you tune in. Rob Deerdick, thank you for joining us, sir. Thanks for having me. We'll have more River City Live right after this. <laughs>